followed Sandakfu. More popularly known as Sandakfu Falo Trek is arguably one of the most popular treks in the eastern Indian Himalayas. Situated inside the Singalila National Park at over 11,900 plus feet, they are the highest points in the Indian state of West Bengal. So, in Falo, there are also people who live there that they are like a summit. Like a summit. Like a summit. And they give you the grandest views of the mighty greater Himalayas and the highest peak of India. But wait, only if you're passionate and able to walk the 65 km circuit trek. I went on a group trek with India Hikes for 7 days and this video is about the experiences in those 7 days. After a gap of a few months, it was once again time to go up to the Himalayas. I was a little bit nervous, but of course excited. The nervousness was because I was not sure whether I'll be able to carry the 11 to 12 kg backpack and be able to comfortably ascend and keep up with the pace of the group. Because this was not a solo trek unlike other times. But, wo kehte na? जब भी डाउट हो जिंदगी में एक लंबी सांस लो और अपनी दिल की बात सुनो यानी अपनी इंट्यूशन को सुनो तो बस ओवरथिंकिंग खत्म डिसीजन मेड ट्रेन जर्नी खत्म और पहाड़ों की तरफ सफर शुरू तो ट्रैक स्टार्ट होने से पहले मैंने सोचा क्यों ना कुछ दिन दार्जिलिंग में स्पेंड किया जाए तो मैंने डिसाइड किया कि आई एम गोइंग टू रीच टू टू थ्री डेज बिफोर द ट्रैक एंड स्पेंड सम डिसेंट एंड क्वालिटी टाइम इन दार्जिलिंग आई वाज डेफिनेटली लकी इनफ टू बुक अ रियली नाइस होम स्टे फॉर जस्ट एट हंड्रेड पर नाइट which had a beautiful balcony a kitchen a bedroom and a seating room it is the 6th of january finally the day is here and today is the day when we when i leave for my sanda food trek and my first ever trek with india hikes so i'm quite excited to see ki kaisa hoga there are it's a group of i think 18 to 20 people i've never done a big group trek so this is going to be something new for me and let's do this The India Hikes base camp was at a place called Sepi which is approximately a 5 hour drive from Darjeeling. The way was definitely quite scenic and beautiful and we did stop at a few places apart from lunch. And finally reached Sepi at approximately I think 4:45 or 5 in the evening. For a person like me who is a hardcore mountain lover, I absolutely loved this place. It was surrounded by a lot of green mountains, a small stream which I couldn't see but I could hear the sound of the stream or the river, and I was absolutely awestruck with the beauty over here. We woke up at around 6:30 or 6:45 in the morning. Witnessed a really beautiful sunrise, although I did not capture it that well. But we were all very excited to start our trek. The starting itself was a bit too difficult because you know, जब भी आप trek start करते हो ना, the initial two or three hours are probably the most hardest, and that is what I've experienced every single time that I've gone on a trek. It's it's like acclimatizing uh, your backpack with your body, and definitely this was quite steep. <laughs> पर एनी वेज वो कहते हैं ना बस चलते जाओ तो एनर्जी आ ही जाती है कहीं ना कहीं से तो वही हुआ एंड आई लाइक द शेप ऑफ द हाउसेस सिमेट्रिकल आफ्टर हाइकिंग फॉर अप्रोक्सीमेटली फोर आवर्स वी रीच्ड अ प्लेस कॉल्ड रामन 
where we had a really nice lunch to be honest in a place like this it's really good that india hikes has arranged such good lunch for us which is really not to be expected during a trek Soon we started trekking deep inside the forest where there was nothing but sounds of nature and some small streams which looked like tributaries of the Shri Kola river I have always been fascinated by mountain forests and specifically by pine forests and finally after hiking for about 7 and 1/2 to 8 hours we reached our stay location for day 1 a place called Samanden which was just surrounded by a beautiful pine forest all around and I just fell in love with this place After spending a cold and freezing night at Samanden, we were all geared up for the trek next day. The next morning, as we were told by our trek leader, it is one of the hardest or the toughest days of the whole Falut Sandakfu trek because we gain an elevation of approximately 4000 feet at a single day, which is actually quite a lot. In a layman's language, it means a lot of steepness. day 2 of the trek today is the maximum altitude gain camera mein inclination nahi samajh mein aa raha hoga but it's tough there's one person leading the trek and i'm the second one piche piche aa rahe sab log but the best part of trekking ahead is that you can listen to the sounds of nature while hiking and that is the reason i am maintaining my position in the front After getting a first small glimpse of Mount Kanchenjunga on this trail, <laughs> we came to a lunch spot in between the bamboo forest. And trust me, it was a very peaceful location to sit, take some rest, drink some water and have your packed lunch. As time passed by, we gained elevation and crossed from the bamboo forest to the rhododendrons, which was actually a sign that we have gained quite a lot of elevation and almost near to our campsite. And finally, after around 8 hours of trekking, we reached our campsite called Molly, and this was really beautiful. Apart from enjoying the process of trekking and being at high altitudes, one of the most beautiful things about the Falut Sandakfu trek are the sunsets and sunrises. So we started at morning 6 o'clock witnessed a beautiful sunrise temperature is still somewhat around minus 2 minus 3 degrees last night it dropped below minus 5 isliye you can see a lot of frost everywhere but 
it's a good feeling man what is on the left of that which one the other mountain so this particular range this entire range right side is in nepal and after this uh, sleeping buddha this is entirely in india now there if you see uh, from the right side 1 2 3 and 4 those four big big mountains so that small one which is tilted towards right that is chomolonzo ठीक है आफ्टर जोमोलोंजो इन फ्रंट इफ यू सी अब दिस अ बिगर माउंटेन राइट व्हिच इज लाइक इन फ्रंट दैट इज मकालू एंड दिस दिस बैक टू मकालू इफ यू सी अ टिल्टेड लेफ्ट माउंटेन दैट इज माउंट एवरेस्ट एंड जस्ट नेक्स्ट टू माउंट एवरेस्ट दैट व्हिच इज वेरी नियर टू मकालू दैट इज लॉर्ड से ऑन दिस डे वी स्टार्टेड आवर ट्रैक अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग टू रीच अ माउंटेन पीक कॉल्ड फालुट which is the second highest peak of West Bengal in India. This is actually a summit push plus climb kind of a day of this trek and from Falut one can get the closest and clearest view of Mount Kanchenjunga on a clear sky day. It's 10 a.m. in the morning. We are just about to go for our final maybe another 100 meters. According to our local mountain guide KL Daju the aerial distance from Falut top to Kanchenjunga is just 40 km can you believe that <laughs> After our whole group of trekkers started to descend I actually sat there alone for an extra 10 or 15 minutes and tried to absorb as much as positivity possible from this place looking at the third highest peak of this whole world it was an absolute blissful moment just below the fallo top there is a small cafeteria and also a small hut arrangement kind of a place to stay in case you wish to stay here for the night उसके बाद हम लोग कुछ खाना वगैरह खाए जो स्नैक्स पैक करके लाए थे फ्रॉम द कैम्प साइट एंड वाइल रिटर्निंग टू द कैम्प साइट अगेन अ फ्यू ऑफ अस जस्ट गॉट लॉस्ट एंड वी वर वॉन्ड्रिंग इन द बुशेज एंड द मेडोज एंड फाइनली फाउंड द वे डे ऑफ असेंडिंग फालू टॉप एंड डिसेंडिंग बैक टू आवर कैम्प साइट वॉज अ वेरी लॉन्ग एंड नॉट सो ईजी ट्रैक डे बट कमिंग बैक टू आवर न्यू कैम्प साइट एट सबरग्राम made me feel so mesmerized hands down this was definitely my favorite campsite out of all the days sabargram is right at the india nepal border our tents were in india whereas our toilet tents were in nepal As the days passed by our trek was almost coming to an end and on this day we trekked from Sabargram to a place called Ar criss crossing through various points on the India Nepal border <laughs> as the days are passing by body has gotten more used to the long hikes it doesn't feel difficult and it feels as if the fitness has suddenly improved a lot
Before starting our descent to Gurdum and then back to our base camp to end the trek, we visited Sandakfu, the highest point in West Bengal. And over there we found a climbable mountain peak where some of us did manage to go up for our own satisfaction, I guess. What what? Alvira? Alvira is not Today is our second last day technically of the trek, descending from 11,500 plus feet to about 7,000 something. We've descended already maybe up to 2,500 feet. So we are down to those areas where we you know, had those bamboo trees and all while ascending. And we have reached the lunch spot for the day. Nice, peaceful, quiet. It is also quite fascinating to notice the small changes in vegetation while ascending and also while descending. The descent from Al to Gurdum is not easy. It's so steep. So basically while climbing, while ascending, we did not ascend from this point. It's very steep. Hai. Big, big rocks and definitely Putting a lot of pressure on your knees. Camera pe shayad nahi samajh mein hoga, as usual. Finally, after six days, we were back in a network zone at this place called Gurdum. Had a very decent and simple night. And next day morning, we were all ready to go back to the base camp. Last day of our hike. Beautiful pine forest, which is my favorite in the mountains. The sound of the river, the Shrikola River. I'm loving it. What a feeling to hike in the Himalayan region. The past seven days have been extraordinarily great. This is all where it started. It's a good feeling. A really good feeling. Definitely a nice feeling. In the end, it is always emotional to leave the mountains. Every moment that you live here becomes a memory. Every person you meet and interact with leaves an impression or story. And those memories will always want to create more such memories.